What's going on everyone? It's your boy James and it's another episode of Grendel's Garage. So a very interesting development happened. Um, I was actually contacted by Bike Ferry via phone. Um, but before we talk about that, what I really want to do is take the time to thank you everyone very, very much for really supporting my channel. We are almost at 700 subscribers and I'm going to be honest, when I started doing the YouTube thing, I really, really never expected to have so much support with the community, um, people helping me out and everything like that. So it's been a heck of a ride and I really want to continue it. I really want to put a lot of energy and time into this hobby, which is really kind of, you know, developed into a passion at this point. It's something that I want to continue for many, many years and I really want to keep it up and um, keep getting more subscribers and hopefully keep helping people and people helping me and as a community just keep growing. Um, it's it's literally one of the best hobbies out there. It's super affordable. It gets you to point A to point B and it's just a lot of fun. You can really dive into the technical stuff and work on racing or you can really just you know, get a nice little cruiser and just putz around town. It's it's one heck of a hobby. So um, I just want to thank you all very, very much. It, it's been a ride. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and keep that up, guys. All right, guys, we're back. I had to break up the video a little bit just because there's so much to say. And I tried taking a lot of takes and it was all over the place. Um, really had to collect my words for this video. So again, Bike Ferry reached out to me and they gave me a call. Uh, it was very interesting. I talked to uh, Mr. Thomas and we had a very, very in-depth conversation um, kind of about his company, what their goals are and everything that they want to do. Uh, the conversation started off with, hey, I saw your YouTube video and I wanted to talk about that. I'm like, oh, ooh, here we go. Kind of nervous, what's going on? Um, right off the bat, he was actually very thankful that I made the video. Um, he said basically thank you for the feedback that really means a lot to us to have an honest review of our service and everything like that so I think right away the ice was broken and it started off very good um, to have full transparency uh, bike ferry is going to go ahead and refund me for the mag wheels that I received from them so I get a full refund plus all the other ribs that I got so I will say in my haste and quickness to potentially anger, let's be real, and uh, not a whole lot of forethought. Um, I did end up throwing away the other rims, which I super regret now, because after talking to you guys, um, I think I could have repaired them. I think I could have played with them enough to actually get them to where they need to be. Uh, I believe that the bearings themselves weren't necessarily seated correctly, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea how those things work um, until I actually took it apart. I did end up taking apart some of the rims, keeping the bearings and the axles themselves. Um, so I got a full refund on the rims, and on top of that, I also got a hundred dollar gift card to Bike Ferry, um, which is way, way more than I could have ever asked for. In all honesty, um, that's a good chunk of change. That's going to be a severe loss on them, and uh, for them to go ahead and do that, I think that's phenomenal. I, that is, that's awesome, guys. That is awesome. Um, kind of some of the aspirations and kind of like what Bike Ferry is about, kind of talking to Thomas and stuff like that. Um, again, it's very interesting to get their take. So basically, uh, they really just want to get people into the hobby. Obviously, they want to do well and sell products and that kind of stuff so they can grow as a company. But I think he was super genuine. Um, outside of this, in my actual job, I in a position where I have to judge people for their character and stuff like that. I won't get into what I do for work and stuff just so I can have a little bit of privacy, but that's what I do day in and day out. I conduct a lot of interviews, I talk to a lot of people, and at the end of the day, I have to make a lot of big judgment calls off of what is said to me. I felt the conversation was very fluid and very, very genuine. So that in itself was very amazing. Um, it was great to talk to him and learn a little bit about their company and about their process. and. Um, one big take that I got from it is that they, Bike Ferry, are going to go ahead and work on their communication between their call center and their email. Um, they felt that I kind of got lost a little bit in the system itself. Um, he was very thankful for basically saying that the live chat is a very good resource to use, which I highly recommend, guys. I super highly recommend 
But if you have any issues, really use the live chat as the, your first line of communication. Um, I said in my review of Fightberry that I was only able to get videos that way. That's something that they're going to look into in the future um, for their email and stuff, is to hopefully get more videos and stuff like that via email. And again, that could have been 100% on me. I'm not the most tech savvy guy in the world, uh, especially as I get older, it keeps changing and it's hard to keep up with. But it was very reassuring to hear that that is something that they're going to work on. Um, now, here's the next big part that I really did not expect from Thomas. So, he potentially, and him and I talked about potentially uh, doing some review videos in the future for their company. Um, I was dead honest with him. I told him that at this point, one, I didn't expect my YouTube channel to grow at this to this volume, so I never thought I'd be in this position to be asked by any company out there to do any kind of reviews or anything like that. Um, and that I really need to stay genuine to what I'm doing for you guys, period. I started this hobby to help you guys and a little bit of you guys helping me, which um, you guys helped me way more than the other way around. I truly, I truly believe that. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't want to have any issues or necessarily be asked to say this or do that and honestly in the conversation um, that we had about that that never came up it was more of like hey we can maybe send you some products and you can do an honest review on it and then we can go from there um, and that was very I think it was very heartfelt and genuine so my question is for you guys as my community kind of like you know the whole reason why I'm at this point is what are your thoughts is this something that I maybe should move into um, again, I don't want to lose what Brenos Garage is all about. Honesty and learning. That's all this channel is for. Um, you know, I'm in a very, very lucky position to where I do okay financially. I'm still paying off credit cards. I still have car payments. I still got to go to work every single day. We'll be going to work every single day for many, many years. Um, but I do have enough finances to buy things here and there um, and all that jazz. Uh, but at the same time, my biggest goal too is to get more people into this hobby. And if I am able to get more products and test more products, then I might be able to hopefully answer questions, um, still give honest reviews, and potentially get more people into the hobby, people that are on the cusp. Especially after talking to Thomas about their goals is to get people into the hobby. Um, you know, they kind of said that a lot of their stuff are not necessarily, their products are not necessarily performance based. You can make them performance based with porting and stuff like that, and I think that's awesome. But their biggest thing is to make a reliable product that can get you to point A to point B and have a big smile on your face. And let's be real, guys, that's what I mean, that's really why I fell in love with the hobby. It, it really made me feel like a kid again. It really brought back so many memories. And I, I always joke and I always tell my friends, that hey, I, could you imagine having one of these in high school? It would have been awesome. Or even before then, you know, just as a young kid, just ripping to school on your motorized bicycle. Gosh, that would have been the bee's knees. Um, but again, I, you guys are my community and I care about your opinions. And if that is something that I maybe move forward into, I wanna have your guys' honest take on it. I don't wanna lose what we have built together as a community and I wanna support the community but at the same time, looking at the whole totality of everything, if I can get my hands on some more products and maybe you guys can see what I go through, then you might be inclined to potentially buy that or not buy that. And that's gonna be, you know, ultimately your guys' decision. So really, honestly, let me know what you guys think. Um, I can sit here and ramble forever, but I really, I really need to know your guys' opinion if this is a direction that I either want to move towards or don't move towards. So, yeah, um, not a ton to say. I do want to say that the F Zero is coming along great. You guys will be seeing a video here uh, this week about where I'm at and all the things I've done to it and what I plan on doing to it more. Um, also, too, uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, guys, uh, Bike Fairy did they send me so many rims, and by the time I got this last set, they're money, guys. They are so nice. They. They are what they should have been in the beginning. Um, 
still need to test them out. I still don't know how they do on road and stuff like that. Um, I'm in a little bit of predicament with my bikes right now as far as what's riding and what's not riding. Um, again, and again, that could be another opportunity for me to potentially maybe get a couple bicycles, maybe get a couple engines and test these things out. On. So um, it was super unexpected, super unexpected. The call just happened today. So I'm still trying to process everything. Plus the, my work has been very demanding. And as you guys know, work is always demanding and it's always pushing us to do better and harder and try to get, try to make ends meet. Um, we're in an economy right now that is not good. So our money doesn't go as far as it used to. And again, this could give me an opportunity to maybe get some things that I never could have afforded in the past. So let me know what you guys think. Um, also too, just a heads up, the boys at Smolik Performance also saw my YouTube video and they contacted me as well. Um, I did never contact them. They found me, they contacted me, and the good news is, is that they offered to go ahead and replace the motor just because of all the, all the debris that I found in that motor itself. And so I shipped up the old motor, put it back together, shipped it up, and it's gonna be going to them, and they're sending me a new one to go ahead and take a look at and hopefully get it on the road and running. So. Stay tuned for that. That will probably be coming down the pipe next week or in two weeks. Um, I don't know if you guys saw on my first unboxing of the Menace 85. Um, I'm technically about a month and a half, a month and a half ahead on my videos. So a lot of the stuff that's in my garage right now, I'm actually further than what my videos will be coming out. And that was that was designed that way. Um, doing work, playing the dad role, being a good husband, all that jazz, that is 100% the first thing on my mind and the most important. But I've been working very hard and very diligently to be able to produce one video a week and hopefully keep that going. There's probably gonna still be some gaps, but these kind of videos, I'm hoping to kind of jump in between here and there, this, that, the other, and um, give you guys more content. Um, this video is very, it's been very hard to make just because I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. You don't know what life's gonna throw you, so the best thing you can do is just keep on keeping on. Um, that's all I have, guys. Sorry for the big ramble, but uh, I think I needed to make this video and kinda, kinda see where the chips fall and really want you guys' opinions and thoughts and ideas. That's what the whole point of this is about, so. Uh, I'm on repeat right now, but uh, anyways, guys, it's your boy James, and it's Brent's Garage.